Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ruchi Rai. Let's discuss an interesting question of ophthalmology today. The question is, silent choroid on angiography is a feature of? What is silent choroid? So silent choroid on FFA, I hope you all know, is flow scene angiography. So silent choroid is a finding of flow scene angiography which means that the choroidal fluorescence is totally not seen. It is dark background. And against that dark, dark background, we are able to see prominent retinal blood vessels. Okay, so let's look at it, what we are talking about. See, this is your silent choroid. These are the, the, the whole background. Can you see it is dark? This is your choroidal fluorescence, which is not seen, absent fluorescence of the choroid. So the blood vessels are prominently seen. Why it is happening? This is happening due to deposition of lipofuscin pigments. Okay. So due to the deposition of the lipofuscin, what will happen? It blocks the fluorescence of the choroid. And this is a feature of Stargardt's disease. Okay, so it's a feature of Stargardt's disease. Deposition of lipofuscin is blocking the fluorescence. Let us look at the Stargardt's disease. This is your Stargardt's disease. The changes are all at the macula with dystrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. It's a dystrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. Let's talk a little bit about Stargardt here. It is manifesting in childhood, or uh, that is generally in first decade. It is a dystrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. And everybody remembers what is a dystrophy? Do you know what is a dystrophy? Any idiopathic and spontaneous change with no inflammatory component. That is what is dystrophy. So Stargardt's mainly involves the macular area. Predominantly involves the macular area. And what happens slowly, there will be atrophic changes. And typically after this, this is described as beaten bronze appearance. It is described as beaten bronze appearance. Right? So there is an allele of this condition which is called fundus flavi maculatus. Fundus flavi maculatus again is dystrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. Okay. Difference is this involves almost the whole retina, not only the macular area. Right? It involves the whole retina. And it will occur later in life, that is manifest by third decade onwards. Let's look at the other options of the question. So that was about Stargardt's disease, right? Coming to the other option of the question, as you can see, is best disease. What is best disease? It's again a dystrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. We call it best vitelliform dystrophy. Best vitelliform dystrophy. Again manifests in childhood. The disease starts with abnormal electrooculogram. Right? Later what happens again the deposition of lipofuscin is causing an egg yolk appearance. Typically the macular change is described as egg yolk appearance. And everybody knows what is electrooculogram. We measure the standing potential of the eye where we take the maximum potential in the light and minimum in the dark. This ratio of light peak upon dark trough, light peak upon dark trough, 
that is lowest in the dark so ratio of highest in the light and lowest in the dark is what is called Arden ratio okay so what is the normal value of this Arden ratio it is more than 1.85 so this is your exam question okay so this is also asked in your exam what is the normal value of Arden ratio Arden ratio is related to what so these are all your exam questions silent choroid is your exam question right then we talk about is what was the next option in your question was if you look at the option in your question ARMD I think everybody knows age related macular degeneration You can, what are the flow scene angiographic finding or what, what will be the on examination finding first? What will be on examination here would be? You can see the drusens in dry RMD and you may see a new vascular membrane in a wet RMD, right? And talking about cystoid macular edema, yes, this a flow scene angiographic finding of cystoid macular edema is asked. Cystoid macular edema in flow scene angiography presents as flower petal pattern, right? This will present as flower petal pattern so that was about silent choroid hope you'll be able to answer this question in the future okay thank you so much